It's okay, you have to show the viewers what your life is really like. The struggles. Do I look okay? Yeah, you look good. Okay, all right. Hi guys, it's Ariel. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Paris. Not filming for my apartment because I was running very late because I'm meeting Esther this morning woo, to go to a purse making atelier in Paris. So that's very exciting. And I thought I would bring you guys along with me. Also guys, if you saw last week's vlog, I want to show you the shirt that I'm wearing. <laughs> this is that cute linen shirt. Yeah. That I picked up. I feel so stylish. Anyways, see you at the atelier. <laughs> this is the one I want to do, I think. <laughs> that was more glammy. I'm not 100% on the texture. Like, I got a lot of texture here, so if I add more texture, yeah, it's too much. Mais du coup, vous êtes prête à mettre combien pour un... Parce que c'est sûr, si vous voulez un sac Chanel, ça va monter. I'm thinking about taking this stencil and then like cutting these guys. And then these ones have it more of like an oval shape. This one. Ah, I love that. Yeah, so then these guys will be like over here. Yeah, I love that. I think. I really, yeah? I really like the oval shape. Huh? What hurts bad? Okay, just finished our purse making session. We got some food. There wasn't much open because it's a Sunday, but we just got burgers and fries. <laughs> How is it? Good? It's delicious. It's vegan, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> and that is Peyton. That's the game I want to play with you guys where they throw balls. Okay, we're gonna show you guys quickly our purses. Okay, so Esther, tell us about your bag. It's a bag. It's made of leather. It's a chain. So Esther picked like a faux croc leather with uh, gold details and this cute little turquoise um, tassel? Mm -hmm. Tassel. Very versatile. A fashion icon. Okay, so they gave us this cute little dust bags, which are gorge. Mine looks so different than Esther's. Ta-da! I went for a yellow for a more summer feel. How do I look? Cute. Do I look cute? And um, I also did a tassel. Mine is like this cute little fuchsia pink. I feel like that goes really nice. So yeah, very cute and like a super, super fun experience. Toi, tu vas aller. Moi, j'ai aucune idée. Toi, toi, tu te. Quoi, Après, pourquoi Alors, t'as tes. Je sais pas, ça me dit ça. Ah, ah oui, oui. Mais c'est oui. les couleurs. C'est les couleurs, ok. Moi, je suis entre ça et ça. Jusqu'à là, je crois que ce serait plus. Attends. Et toi, tes. Ah ouais, attends, toi, c'est ça. Toi, à cause des couleurs. Ah, non, mais aussi, il y a une poisson. Et un... Ouais, oui, ouais, ouais. Il manque qui, du coup Ah, non, tout le monde a choisi Moi, je sais pas. Je suis pas garantie sur le mien, mais. Listen, moi non plus, hein. Okay. <rire> ah, bon, ouais. Faut regarder dans les yeux euh... du fantôme. 
Juste. Pourquoi t'as mis ça là. Ah, t'as vu la pomme La pomme, ça se cuisine. Ouais. Bon, t'as la cage. Ouais, si, si, c'est. Euh, ça fait ça. Welcome back to my apartment. <laughs> If I look exhausted, it's because I for sure am exhausted. I feel like I've been running around all day. I'm like finally home making dinner. I'm so tired. I'm so hungry. Like, what a day, folks. So yeah, after we ate, we ended up going to a friend's house to play some board games, which was nice to have some sort of social contact, given that we don't ever see anybody ever. <laughs> And now I'm back home making dinner. I'll show you what is on the stove. So I'm reheating some crazy flats. And with that, I'm going to have some radishes and carrots. It's definitely a basic dinner, but I'm way too tired to like make something that takes a lot of effort. And also I want to call my mom later tonight. And because of the time difference, I have to do that like soon. Um, so yeah, actually, Cosy Flat, for those who don't know, is a dish. I feel like it's mostly a winter dish for sure. It's like heavy. Um, but I learned to cook it when I was living in Grenoble, so near the French Alps. And what it is essentially is these little Crozettes, they're called crozettes, they're like these pieces of pasta. So you cook those up and then you cook some onions with um, lardons, which are like pieces of pork, and some crème fraîche, some salt and pepper, and then you mix it all together and then on the top you place these cheeses called roblechon. So it's like a very heavy fatty meal, but it's so good. It's like my comfort dish all the time. I love it. It's just like Greasy, cheesy, amazing. Oh, I thought I would show you guys again my purse close up. At the atelier we went to is this place called Pigeon Cook. To be honest, it was kind of pricey. It was, you have the option of doing a big bag or a small bag and it's a four hour session. So I guess for four hours of like learning how to use leather and like make a purse, it's worth it. But it was 129 euros, I think. So this is what mine looks like up close. I chose a yellow leather because I wanted it to be summer. I have gold ribbons, gold chain, and also the, th <laughs> the thread I use to sew the bag is, stop looking at me. <laughs> the thread I use to sew the bag is also gold. Oh, and also here, these little details. I made these. I, I hand punctured those. I mean, what you guys would have seen in the video, but anyways, yeah, it was super fun. I definitely really, really like the purse. And what's interesting actually is that They were explaining to us that it's all recycled leathers, which is mostly why I was okay to do this class. I don't buy new things anymore. I only buy secondhand. So I figured that this was okay for me because it's recycled leathers. And the leathers, the, the recycled leathers actually come from designer brands. So before companies like Chanel and Hermes, they would burn the leathers that they didn't use anymore. And that became illegal in France. And so instead of burning them. Now they resell them to small ateliers like this where they do these purse workshops and you can make your own purses. So um, it's cool because that means the leather is like good quality. So yeah, overall it was a really fun day, which is really cool because normally Sundays are pretty lonely days. Like most things in France and in Paris are closed on Sundays. So you find yourself like either going for a walk or going to the boulangerie, but really like spending that day by yourself. And so it was really fun, to be honest, to spend my Sunday with my friends and doing a fun workshop. So yeah, I'm super tired, but it was worth it and I had such a good day. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope it was interesting to come around with me in Paris on this Sunday. And I hope you guys are also having a really good week or weekend. I don't know when I'll post this. That's all for me. I feel like my cozy flat is heated up. I'm so hungry. I'm gonna go eat it. And I will see you guys in my next video.